Welcome back to part two of this Master Chief Halo Infinite build. Today I'll be starting on the top section. I am just starting with these side pieces and going corner to corner as per usual. I'm actually going to start at the front so that'll probably get a little more viewing than the back. And just like usual guys I'm lining up the edges so that I have a nice seam all the way across. And it's kind of actually coming up on the front, so I'm gonna start folding it down. And the piece needs to be bent actually to fit. Before I glued them together, I just kind of bent it like that. I didn't even use heat to bend it, but it worked fine just bending it. And I knew the glue would kind of hold, help it stay in shape. Now, as I've been working, I have noticed, which is gonna be difficult, that this piece is angled like that so I'm gonna go through and just cut at an angle backwards so that this one will fit up under there I'll probably just use my exacto blade I'm just gonna go about like that please be careful and make sure you don't cut yourself with this okay There we go, let's test the fit. And that's a lot better. I'm gonna have to go and cut a little bit more just right at the edge on the underside there. Cause it's just barely running to it. The rest should be fine. I'm gonna try and cut out a little bit more. Okay, so that's probably about as close as I'm gonna get it. And I'll do the same to the other side. So I'm just gonna kind of shove this corner right into that corner so that these line, these uh, sides are flush. Next for this piece, I've been holding it to the side because I have glue there. Just kind of force it up, angled up, so that you are putting these two corners together and they end up being flush. That. Okay, and for gluing these edges together, you're going to have to kind of force it to work because you want that corner up at that edge and the back corner to line up in the back, so it should be a little tough with it. Force it to fit there. There we go. So for these, this top piece is actually that go across here. This one was actually supposed to be back here. The one that was supposed to go up here was too small and this one just fit better. So I just kind of flip flopped them around and I didn't glue it yet, but it's kind of just being held in there um, with the pressure from the helmet. So what I'm gonna do for this one, instead of using the contact cement, I'm just gonna use a little liquid tight super glue, or Loctite liquid super glue. It is a little annoying because you will get it on your fingers. It just happens, um, but it holds pretty tight. And since that's such like an awkward place to get the the uh, contact cement, that's why I'm opting for the super glue. And I'll do the same on these two sides. All right, that may might be about as good as it's going to get. And I'll go back through the bottom actually, and probably just add some hot glue on the bottom, like inside there. Okay, so same thing that I did here. Instead of using the contact cement, I'm just using the super glue. I've kind of got this piece already exactly where I want it. So I'm just gonna start with super glue on this back edge right here to try and get it as uh, clean as I can. Okay, that's kind of solid. So then, and I can see where this piece, the design of it was just like it cut in. Oh well, I'm just gonna glue it on the corners and uh, fill the back end with hot glue again. And my hot glue gun is actually ready to go this time, so let's just put some hot glue right there as well. Still looks pretty even. Okay, and for this middle piece here, I uh, the piece that the design had, it was just too small. It was like like that so I kept 
it just didn't fit fit well so I cut a new one just a little bit bigger um, and this one might be just on the verge of too big you can see where it doesn't line up there but I'm just gonna force it in I'm gonna start by gluing this corner right here because I know that's supposed to be like flush with this top section and uh, just along that side with the super glue and then I'll just kind of force the other side to work with me okay that piece is set um, before I actually jump over to this other side I'm going to try and do this front okay so I want it to be ending like right at the bottom of that piece in front so I'm just going to kind of hold it hold it there all right, and then help ensure that is set. I'm gonna actually do the hot glue on that side first, and then we can finally go over to the other side. Okay, and check it from the outside again. Looking good still. Now once that side is set, I'm going to jump over to this side, and this is where it's gonna be a little frustrating to work with, because what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to hold it in place where I want it, and glue it at the same time. Now to match this side with that side, so that it's got about the same angle as this side does. Put the glue on and wipe it. Good. And then once again, I'll flip it over really quick just to ensure that seam holds. Put some hot glue this time, right along that seam. Okay. All right, I'm doing the same thing with this piece. I actually had to do a lot of playing around with it because when I put here's the cutout and it just is not the right size you can see there's extra space up there it didn't fit exactly correctly so I kind of just used that and recut it about three or four times um, until I got a piece that fit at least that I'm happy with there are some gaps in it and I'll fit those in later but I just mainly want to get this section glued and that side glued and that's going to hold it in place the best making sure it's lined up as good as I can get it with the, this black piece little straighter of an edge. There we go. That's pretty straight. Just work with this part as best as you can. The front side is, I think, the most important. Even my my redos on this one, I have those huge gaps. So do the same on the other side. So for this back piece, I'm doing it with uh, this contact cement. What I did was I used stuck it in exactly where I wanted it and drew a line just following the edge exactly where I want it so I know where to put the glue and that's what I'm going to try and follow here I'm going to start with this corner and work out to this corner and then try and put everything else together Doing your, doing your best to make sure that it all looks even. And you can see that this piece actually is a little bit long on that side. So I'm just gonna take my X-Acto blade and kind of saw it off. Perfect, that's, it looks crappy right now, but that's a lot better. Next section is this back piece, which basically just goes edge to edge here. This piece I accidentally cut a little wide, so we're just going to center it as best we can. Okay. Next, I'm doing these side pieces, and I'm going to glue this side first, and then glue the front of it. You'll notice if it starts to curl a little, that's good because eventually this piece actually curls da back down a little bit around the back of the head. Okay, so this one might be a little tough, but you want that corner to be over on that corner. So I'm just going to walk it across that edge, basically, and make sure those corners line up. Good. And that should kind of help it kind of bend down a little bit there, too. Okay, next piece is this side piece, kind of. Um, I put glue on both these corners here, or both these sides here, 
I'm going to start with this little side and then go with the long side. Now let's go with this longer side. Doing your best to really match up the edge to the top corners. You can see it really helps bring in that curve. Also what I did is I just bent it like this and really folded it to give it that curve right before I put this glue on. So this piece right here, you don't have to actually cut it out. For some reason my template had it cut out. I was looking in references and there's not really a shape there. So now I'm just gluing it back in and it just it just needs to be flush to everything else. So. Kind of starting at that bottom corner there, and I'm just forcing it to fit as best as I can get it. Okay, there we go. Next is the piece that goes under that little piece that we just glued in. Um, this one is cut with like an outward angle so that it kind of is angled out from the helmet. It's gonna going to be tough to fit in there so I kind of pre-bent it just like that because um, this one is it's supposed to have a bend like that so I'm going to start on this corner and work up to the front just kidding I'm going to start in the front and work to the back You can see how it kind of has that little outward bump. Now after I, after the top is done, I just went straight on to the whole back of the helmet. So for this back section of the helmet uh, that goes right here, I'm making it as like a little separate piece. So I don't know why, again, it was made into three separate pieces. I've got the left side glued already. Uh, now for the right side, and it's just edge to edge, simple piece. There we go. Okay, so now that those pieces are glued, or have glue on them, I should say, I'm just going to start with this corner to this corner and work my way around. And you can see I've cut these actually at an angle, an inward angle, so this one will fit and go down more from this piece. Once again, I'm just kind of forcing this uh, foam to work with me. Alright, there we go. So the next place I glued, I measured just right in the middle of this little piece and the middle of this piece. And I'm going to basically line that up, but it has a little bend to this one. So I want corner to corner here, line up the middle and the far corner. And that's it. And there we go. So next piece is gluing this little piece, uh, triangular piece right there. I'm going to start from this edge because that's where I really want it to be um, corner to corner. And uh, it's kind of like trails in, I guess. So I'm starting exactly corner to corner here, or edge to edge, and then just slowly like tapering in as I work towards the middle. There we go. So I'll put super glue actually right on that corner actually so it's not wobbling back and forth. And I want actually those corners to be right next to each other. Perfect. So this back piece here, um, I did it out of the thinner foam. And I had, I had that midline already marked 
for marking or for putting those two pieces together which I actually kind of lucked out I had this midline marked because the way I did drew uh, the outline for this piece is I just had the template which was half of it I uh, drew that little line there at the edge of the template flipped it over and then I knew where the midpoint was because I just mirrored it so that midline just lined up with that midline and I held it up before putting glue on it and just put two little marks of the edge of these two pieces where I'm going to start by attaching it there. And I put glue around the whole thing so I kind of have to hold the edges away so they don't attach uh, prematurely. So we'll just start with this left side over here. I'm going to hold this out of the way and I'm going to go down this right side. I'm just lining up the edge the entire way. Kind of pulling it a little bit because um, this little like indentation should line up there. So I'm just doing my best I can to line it up. I probably should have put some registration marks somewhere on the piece so that I would have a better idea of where everything lined up, but I didn't do that. So I'm just uh, just going for it here. attached here. Okay, even this side, it lined up just about perfectly. Okay, there's that piece. So on this piece, this little one that attaches to the back, um, <laughs> again, I used that middle mark. Made a middle mark on this piece, which you can barely see, but it's right there. Then I held it up to that middle mark and made these two these two dots where the corners are going to go. So I'm just going to start with one corner and go across. And also I have both of those cut at those inward angles so it makes that good 90 degree angle. Okay so now to glue this piece here to this piece. I'm going to leave that little gap there, which should be fine. I'll fill it in later, but I put a little mark where the edge of this is supposed to go. So I'm just going to glue edge to edge and make sure that mark lines up. Okay, so for the next piece is to the side of that middle piece that we just put in. And I actually had to kind of shave off a little bit. Not a whole lot, maybe like five millimeters or a half a centimeter. Um, to get it to fit a little better and not be pushing out against this piece here. So now I'm just going to glue it from this back edge up towards the front. Look at these, this like arrow corner lined up. Yeah, yeah. Can I pull that a little bit, that's alright. Now I can just walk it down that edge. Okay. I want to make sure that corner gets right up into that corner. Good, and then do your best to make sure these corners match. Now glue that side. Really simple, just gluing that corner to that corner, and that corner to that corner. Okay, now for this skinnier piece that goes right below the other piece we just put on. I'm starting right here. As far as I can go, uh, to this edge and I know there's going to be a little gap because I held it up but I can fill that in later just with like a scrap piece. Okay, just like I thought there's a little <laughs> gap there but that shouldn't be hard to fill it on. For this scrap piece I kind of just cut it out. You see it doesn't fit perfectly but that's all right. With the foam, you can kind of just pinch it and squeeze it. So now it'll fit good enough. It doesn't have to fit perfect, perfect. I can go over it later to hide it. And it's a little long, but I'm going to glue it on first with this front edge. And just use super glue for that. And another dab of super glue on the back side there. So that piece is in. Then I'll take box cutter. And 
just shave. I'll be careful with this. Make sure you don't cut your finger, but shave right across there. And voila. It's like it was one piece the whole time. Okay, next is this thin piece. It goes down below this even. Uh, I'm starting on this side because I think up here I'm going to have to modify it. So I want to get this piece correct down here where I won't have to modify. I'm just going edge to edge. So for this piece, I cut this at a, like an outward angle, kind of knowing that I was going to have to trim this back because this piece is actually supposed to go uh, in there like that. So um, what I'm going to have to do is cut about... A, I've, I'm cutting five millimeters, so a half a centimeter away, and I've cut this at an angle as well, so that when it sits in there, it's just going to sit flat like that. Using my X-Acto knife, and I've already drawn a line that is about five millimeters up from this edge all the way across. I'm just going to follow that, and I'm cutting basically perpendicular to this face. There we go. So I pulled my same trick again here. I kind of looked at these midlines, just kind of made one that uh, I could see. Can't really see it here, but I just put a little dot with my eyes, kind of eyeballed the middle there using that line uh, from the previous pieces that we've used. Um, so then I measured the middle of this one. I'm gonna use those two dots to make sure this piece is centered on here. I'm going to go with this side first, out as far as it will go, and same with the other side. Good. So I actually am going to cut this piece off. Um, it is easier to use one of these snap-off blades because you can extend the blade out further without getting the handle in the way. So I'm just going to use that and push it flat against this piece right here and basically saw off that piece that I don't want there. Be careful. There we go. So now that is continued out. There we go. And they're both pretty, pretty even there. So the next bit I have to actually modify are these pieces, these skinny white ones. I'm just going to cut them off, like right there, to be straight in line with that line. There we go. Enough cut. Do the same on this side. There we go. So once again, I am using that trick where I mark the center and mark the center and just line those two lines up. And so I'm using my fingers in the back to make sure it's as flush as I can get it. And line up the lines. So, so for these side pieces, I uh, marked where the bottom of this kind of little outward piece is uh, on this piece, just so I can match it up exactly where I want it. And I'm doing just this part first, and I'll focus on that later. And I'll make sure the back of this is flat, or flush to the back of this, because this is six millimeters, this is four. Good, because I want that little bit of step right there. Next part down is this U-shaped piece. It is a step down from this circular piece. I'm going to start with this corner over on that side and then just do the other corner and hopefully work this piece up. Okay, there we go. That corner is in. That corner is in. And then I'm just going to kind of mash this down. Perfect. And then these edges are actually going to be flush, so I'll put those on as well. Alright, 
there we go. This big triangle piece here, I put glue, I kind of drew like a, held, held this piece up, I kind of drew a line, kind of estimating of where I'm going to go, so I'm just going to follow that with this piece, and this one's cut at an angle, so it should help it fit better, and I'm fitting it flush to the edge of this piece here. There we go, like that. Perfect. Now after the back is constructed, I went and jumped back up to this little ear hole piece to fill that in. So for this piece right here, I just kind of used this big piece as a design and used the inside cut out and just kind of modified it because I used this thinner foam. But I just played around with it until I got it to fit exactly how I wanted. So we we'll just line it up. And I want this front side pretty flush, so that feels pretty good. I'm going to leave it there. Alright, now I didn't really like the way the uh, front nose was looking at first, this top piece. So I went ahead and cut that off and rebuilt it basically from scratch. And I also added these two little thin bottom visor pieces. I just don't really like the way this piece is fitting. So I'm cutting the whole thing off. Okay, now I'm just going to restart this piece basically while looking at the reference photo that I have. These like nose pieces, or to get the nose piece, I finally figured that out. It's just going to glue on like that. Make shift pieces to connect that nose piece to the edge pieces. Now, this middle piece will go right there, and I'll make sure of those pieces. Okay, so I did that trick again, marking the middle of both. I'm just going to attach it like that, and I'm going to use super glue. I just uh, am gluing it right on the edge, so it's a little tricky to hold. So that seam is decently solid. Now, I'm actually going to add a couple pieces right in here. Um, Okay, so for these kind of makeshift pieces, I don't know how to describe how to make this one. It was just kind of like an edge cutoff, if that makes sense. Like if I was cutting uh, one of these, like a back cut, it was just the excess from that side. So I cut it to go right in this, to kind of slot right in that spot. So I'm going to try and line up that corner with the corner, the back corner. There we go. So that corner, and then the back will just go straight across, and perfect. And then the other piece that I had is just, it's a dowel rod, so it's just a long tubular piece, or cylindrical piece, and I just cut off a little section that fit in between this, and then sliced it in half, and I want it to fit right here. Um, so what I'm going to first do is just fit this bottom corner in and mash it, basically just mash it to fit in. And there we go. Okay, so this piece is kind of just like a trapezoidal looking piece. Um, I just had to kind of wing it on making it, and I had to make a few until I got it right. So it might end up being what you have to do, but... So for this piece right here, I did the same piece from the design as this upper piece for the visor. Um, I just traced it out and kind of held it up and cut it off where it would meet there. So I just put paint or uh, glue on it, excuse me, 
and I'm just gluing it on to give a better angle from this piece. So I've kind of put a mark at where the top edge is supposed to meet. There we go, actually that was almost perfect. Then just walk it down the edge here. Perfect, and then the visor will be able to just press up against that piece and that piece.